Well, hello, hello. It's your boy Black Iowa, and welcome back to another Black Iowa's beer review. This week, we're going to be sticking with our theme. We've been trying out some Oktoberfest beers and some pumpkin beers in the past weeks, and uh, we're going to keep going with that as long as we can find it. Now, speaking of which, I've, you know, we've had, uh, this is week five, so we've had five of these beers, and they're getting kind of scarce. I live in a small town in mid-Missouri, so, you know, it's not like I have a whole lot going on, but, uh, so I got searching around today, and actually I was going to go, I'm going to tell myself I was going to go get some more of that Blue Moon pumpkin beer, because that's good stuff, baby. That's my favorite one that we've, uh, I've, we've, me, myself, and I have tried so far, so... I was looking around and I went to the place where I usually get it from. Well, they were closed. So I went to a liquor store that I normally do not go to, uh, Marshall Wine and Spirits, over there on Eastwood Street. If you're in Marshall, go check it out because they got some beer in there that I ain't never seen before. Some crazy beer, baby, including this. This is Schlafly, I hope I'm saying that right, Pumpkin Ale, and it's brewed in St. Louis. Old St. Louis, baby, not too far from me. It is a special release, they say. And this is 8% alcohol by volume. Woo, baby. I might be getting into a little something, something tonight. That's some heavy duty stuff. Let's read what it says here on the side of the label. It says, Schlafly, and there again, I, Schlafly, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Schlafly pumpkin ale blends the spices of the harvest with full bodied sweetness. For a beer that tastes like pumpkin pie, a special release, Pumpkin Ale is available for a limited time with a new style every few months. You know, I've had some Schlafly before. I've seen a few different flavors of it here and there again, but not this one. This is a new one on this old boy. And I like the label, too. I'm feeling the label. It feels kind of like a different material. So it's a little fancy already. Got the pry off cap, not the uh, twist off. We're going to have to pop the top. So let's get to it before it gets warm because it is nice and cold. How I like it. So like I say, been trying out all these Oktoberfest beers, the pumpkin beers. We've had more luck with Oktoberfest than we have pumpkin. Not too many pumpkin beers about besides the Blue Moon and this. That's the only two I've found. But I was really excited to try this because I, I like that pumpkin a little better than I do the Oktoberfest. So we will see what I think. Yeah. We've got it cracked. We going to pour. Let's have a smell first, please. Ooh. Ooh. Smell like you. Smell like pumpkin, baby. Mmm. Oh, oh. I cannot tell you how excited I am. Pour that sucker right down the side. Let it glide. Let it slide. Right into the beer mug, baby. Nice brown head on it deep brown head on it and a deep uh, I mean I would that's a good copper color there looks just like a damn pumpkin pie how does it smell you ask let's find out so we're getting we're definitely getting pumpkin pie smell nutmeg and all that kind of stuff but there's also a really strong beer smell. And when I say beer, I'm not talking about Miller Lite. I'm talking about like some dark beer. That may be where that 8% comes in. All right. Look out, stomach, here it comes. Let's give her a shot. Somebody texted me, but they're going to have to wait. That's good. One more taste. There's something I'm not quite sure about, and I want to investigate. Dark beer. It's a dark beer. Got a good pumpkin taste, though. But it's definitely darker, a lot darker than any of the other ones we've tried. Really good flavor, though. 
As far as the food pairing might go, you know what we're gonna put it with? Pumpkin pie itself. Why not double up on something you love? And if you like me and you like pumpkin, you're gonna love this. Mmm, that's good stuff. On a scale of one to ten, let's have another drink and see. Deep breath. Really strong, dark flavor. Malt bite. Not really getting a lot of that pumpkin anymore, but it's still there. It's still there. I'd like to try it out of the bottle and see what happens. But on a scale of one to 10, we will give this an eight. It's a damn good beer. It's got a good pumpkin flavor. And it'll get you where you need to be, apparently, because it's 8%, so. Well, that's about all I've got to say. So thank you for watching this Black Iowa's Beer Review. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. And you can watch other beer reviews right here on my YouTube channel. So enjoy your evening, enjoy your beer, and I'll talk to you later, baby.